What's good, boxing fam? It's your boy back again with another banger. And oh boy, do we have some crazy drama for you today. Y'all aren't ready for this plot twist. Floyd Mayweather is officially training Lamont Roach ahead of his fight with Gervonta Tank Davis. You heard that right, Mr. Money. Mayweather himself is in Roach's corner for what's shaping up to be a boxing showdown for the ages. But why is Floyd training Roach instead of supporting his former protege, Tank? You know we gotta break this all down. So buckle up, grab that popcorn, and let's roll the tape. All right. First things first, this news has everybody talking. Floyd Mayweather teaming up with Lamont Roach feels like a major betrayal to Gervonta Davis. But at the same time, it's got people hyped. Is this Floyd trying to play mind games with Tank? Or is he genuinely trying to help Roach become the man to take Tank down? You know Floyd loves his power moves, and this is definitely one of them. Let's take a step back for a sec. Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather have been on shaky ground for a minute. They used to be tight. Floyd literally mentored Tank and helped him rise to stardom. But lately, things have been messy between the two. We've all seen the Twitter shade, the awkward interviews, the drama. It's no secret that their relationship has hit rock bottom. So it's wild, but not completely surprising, that Floyd's out here making moves against his old protege. And what better way to stir the pot than to train the dude who's about to fight Tank? Now, we've got to talk about what went down between Floyd and Tank. Their beef has been brewing for a while now, and you can bet this plays into Floyd's decision to back Roach. At first, Floyd and Tank were inseparable. Floyd saw potential in Tank and took him under his wing, showing him the ropes and giving him that big spotlight on the world stage. But as Tank's career started to take off, rumors of tension between the two started circulating. Floyd wanted control. Y'all know how he is. And Tank, he wanted to be his own boss. And props to Tank, he's now getting much bigger deals than Floyd ever did. Set you off because he was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. He said So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's you know? what I was thinking. Cause it's weird. I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just it, Floyd don't never he felt as though I'm about to I'm about to I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29. You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's that the deal, he has a part that's of the deal. He don't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just and I'm just releasing. This is exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Tank don't cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. Things hit a boiling point earlier this year when Ryan Garcia exposed Tank's affair with Floyd's daughter, Yaya Mayweather. You just know that wasn't gonna sit right with Floyd when he found out. I already knew. I already. I already knew about all that though. Once um, Javante uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like. That's not something I'm exposed. Floyd being Floyd made sure he got his revenge on Tank. According to sources, Floyd jumped Tank to send him a message. This beef just got a lot more serious. Should be happy. Hey, 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 now let's switch gears and talk about Lamont Roach. For those of y'all who don't know, Roach isn't just some random guy in the boxing world. This dude's been grinding for years, building up his rep as a slick technical fighter who's hard to hit and even harder to beat. But let's be real, he's coming into this fight as the underdog, no doubt. Going up against Tank, that's no easy task, but the way Roach has been talking, you just know he has the confidence to back it all up. Not 
to mention with Floyd in his corner, Roach's chances just went EP. You know Floyd is all about defense, technique, and making your opponent look silly. Roach is already known for his counterpunching skills and his ability to frustrate his opponents. With Floyd giving him that elite level game plan, you already know Tank is in for a challenge. Roach has the potential to really frustrate Gervonta with his defensive skills and with Floyd's guidance, he could pull off one of the biggest upsets we've seen in recent boxing history. Gervonta, you've knocked out a lot. You've knocked out a lot of good fighters, beating some really good fighters. How much do you want to prove it against someone who's considered a... So, the million dollar question, why is Floyd training Roach instead of backing Tank? Is this just another chess move, or does Floyd actually believe Roach can win? Well, it's probably a little bit of both. First off, let's be real. Floyd Mayweather loves to stay relevant. He's not the type to sit back and watch the game from the sidelines. And let's not forget his hatred for Tank is unending. He's going to make sure Lamont does everything right in the ring and put Tank on the canvas. Floyd is tired of Tank always taking shots at him when all Floyd has ever done is take Tank Tank's career to the next level. My thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And um, but over the years. It's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. So, how does this shakeup affect the actual fight between Gervonta Davis and Lamont Roach? Let's break it down. First off, the mental edge. Boxing isn't just about fists. It's about strategy, mindset, and staying calm under pressure. By having Floyd in his corner, Roach is already winning the mental battle. Tank has to know that Floyd knows all of his tricks. Floyd's trained Tank for years. He knows how Tank thinks, how he fights, and how to get under his skin. And Roach? He's absorbing all that knowledge like a sponge. Plus, let's not forget that Floyd's whole style is built around defense. You know he's drilling Roach on how to slip punches, how to frustrate Tank, and how to make him miss over and over. If Roach can execute that game plan, we could see Tank getting frustrated, making mistakes, and getting countered. Y'all saw what happened to Frank Martin. Tank's power is real, but if you can avoid it and get him off his rhythm, you've got a shot. Trainer of Gravanta Day Davis gave his two cents on the matchup, and the man had some pretty interesting things to say about this fight. Well, I think Tank Davis just been released to the public. You know now, December 14th, Houston, Texas, he's gonna be facing a, a very tough opponent in, in Lamont Roach. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about the history between them two? Oh uh, man, they've been they've been knowing each other from the amateurs, silver gloves, everything. They grew up to actually be together, you know. Um, Roach and him back and forth battles and whatnot. Um, it's gonna be a pretty interesting fight, you understand? Know because Roach always he come to fight, I and mean, I think it's a great fight. Everybody talking all that stuff about oh, why Roach because he signed and took the fight, you understand? Know and it's good for the community. Eddie Hearn also shared his brutal thoughts on this epic fight, and according to him, there is one little problem with these two guys fighting in the ring. What do you think of the announcement of the Javante Davis Roach fight? Uh, I think that, you know, it's had a lot of criticism, but it's not a bad fight. You know, Lamont Roach is a, a world champion. He's smaller than Javante Davis. The problem is not many people are aware of, of who he is or, or his ability, but he can fight. I don't think it's a, a huge fight, but not a terrible one. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.